and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 kids at 147 and it's time for a little bit of a whip and chat today. Um, so I thought let's start on my mini, not that it's mini, it's huge, but my mini heaven and earth designs um, that I haven't started yet. But this one is a black and white image, a uh, mini beautiful light that I have only 15 colours of. Um, and I thought we'll just do a little bit of a whip and chat on this instead. And it sort of gets it started. Um, I don't know why I give myself additional products, projects when I still haven't finished my other one, but we like to vary it up. Um, plus I thought that by doing this one, um, in turn, it has more blocky colours because there is only 15. So I figured I won't get distracted as easy during a whip and chat. That's the idea anyway. So I'm just trying to make sure that my first row is as straight as I can possibly make it. Bearing in mind I have just filled up my pen as well so I do have wax that is deciding to splurt everywhere but I'm trying to be as careful as I can with sort of the first bit of placement and then of course I have to keep getting rid of the pink wax. I'm using my little mini pen because this is a mini heaven and earth designs even though it's not really mini but I figured it suits why not and I'm scooting the pen about everywhere. Uh, so I'm starting off with the colour that is quite a lot in this section. Um, and then I think I'll go through the rest of the colours. Oops, see look, I've just lost a load of wax on the top of there. Okay, I'll brush that off later. We're gonna have to just stick with a pink on the top. Um, yeah, so I also had the tablet out. I finished, or well, I've just finished a video that you would have seen yesterday on how I use um, this app, on how I use the Heaven and Earth Designs. No, the Pattern Keeper app while doing a Heaven and Earth Designs. So it was like, oh, go on then. Let's, let's now start this chart off and let's start getting a little bit of this done. Um, I am, thing is, I do, as much as I do want to do more of my heaven and earth designs, I don't want to slow down my kitten up and my de-kitten on my other ones. Does that make sense? That can be what makes it a little hard. Um, I am sorry though, this seems to be a white colour, so I don't know whether you're actually really seeing me place many diamonds. But maybe you're diamond painting yourself while doing this, so maybe you're not looking at the screen anyway. But I do have a, a couple of talking points. I think was there at least two things, may, maybe a few more that I wanted to bring up. Um, so, first one's first. This, I actually meant to mention this in the last whip and chat that I did, and I forgot. So, for those that have been watching my channel for a while, will know that last December, I did an advent calendar for December. Um, and with that I did a section of a diamond painting from the 1st of December to the 24th of December and we saw the picture come together and I chatted a load of chitter chatter every single day. Well I've decided that I'm going to do it again because it was enjoyed. Um, the chitter chatter may repeat itself slightly um, especially if we get on to the topic of you know Christmas and Christmas traditions and things like that I know it's a bit early for it but I actually I actually heard Christmas music played in the shop today 
I haven't been out in weeks, um, but me and the hubby did decide to nip out first thing this morning while it was quite quiet, um, just for me to be able to get out the house for a bit. He probably regrets it, the stuff I picked up, but anyway. Um, we did decide to nip out this morning and there was Christmas music playing. Now, I think for the benefit of all retail colleagues, Christmas music shouldn't be played until the beginning of December. I understand that Christmas stock goes into shops and I understand, you know, that there are people that buy it because I may have bought a couple of Christmas decorations. But I do think that the poor workers should not be subject to Christmas music too early. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I am going to do, and it's all planned, for me to do a December advent again. Now, the last one that I did, a few people did mention um, and it had passed my mind um, that it would be nice to do one of the, the mystery diamond paintings that are available as my December um, painting, as my December chat, whip and chat, all that sort of stuff. Sorry, I'm just marking off. This one I'm marking off in a full square um, because there's just so many of them. I've just decided to mark it off in a full square. Um, so the reason I wanted to bring that up in this whip and chat is partly, you know, to let people know. I've said it now out loud. Unless something drastic happens, um, I will be doing the December advent calendar but I also wanted to let people know because I have purchased a mystery diamond painting um, and it's from a company that does a mystery diamond painting per month so you know you could order from them one each month and they will all be different and um, so I actually ordered it on the 1st of October now it's not arrived yet it is coming directly from the states so i did want to order it with enough time for it to get to me um, but i have heard good things about this company's mystery diamond paintings i know there are a few more that have been about since last december which is when i first started looking into the mystery diamond paintings um, but I've been wanting to give this company a go since then so I decided to stick with them um, and just the reason I wanted to make sure that you all knew is in case you wanted to get your own um, from the same company and play along uh, of course you do not have to um, you can play along with the diamond painting from your own stash you can play along with a mystery painting from another company. You could get one from the same company, but choose to get it on a different month. So it's different, it's completely up to yourselves. Of course it is, it's your world, it's your life. Um, but I wanted to let people know on this video in October, just in case they wanted that option. So I will pop a link to the company that I got mine from in the description box below in case you want to order one so that you're playing along with the same one um, and of course I will do my preparation for that diamond painting um, I think I've got that put into my schedule of when that will go up um, I think I was putting it up just over a week before December starts. So I think December starts on a Tuesday. I could be wrong, but I think it's a Tuesday. And I was going to be doing it not two days before on the Sunday, the week before that. I think that's when I scheduled it for 
Um, my schedule is always sort of subject to a little bit of change but I think that's when I thought would be a good time as in I don't want to be talking too much about Christmas and Advent calendars too close to Christmas but I don't want to leave it too late that people don't have time to prepare theirs if they want to join in and maybe they've not seen the whip and chat videos maybe they're new to the channel all that sort of stuff so um i'll of course do an unboxing on it when it arrives and um, just to show what that looks like and then i will do a preparation video and then we will get into it come december um but yeah i'll pop a link down below in case anybody wants to be able to pick that up so sorry i didn't mention that in my last one it was in my head at one point to mention it but i don't think it actually came out of my mouth um next thing so yesterday is it yesterday excuse me anyway a few days um a few days ago I was getting to the point where I was deciding, right, I need some sort of structure on what videos I'm filming, when videos are going up. I know that pretty much all of you guys um, that watch my channel regularly, and many of you are happy with me working you know what works for me and I truly appreciate that and you're you know while you have your favorite videos you, you know you're not wanting certain videos at certain quantities and all the rest you understand that I am I work and I, a mum of four even though they are old, old enough to sort themselves out um, and I appreciate that but I did decide I needed to get myself a little bit organised for my own personal benefit. And my battery's flashing. So, let me change that and then I'll tell you what I did. Okay, I'll try that. If I'm not changing my battery, I'm changing my memory card. Hey ho. Let me get myself sat and comfy again. Um, so yeah, I did decide that I needed to get things organised for my benefit. I like to have variety on the channel, but I also know that I, I'm not able to sit and diamond paint every single day. Um, so kitting ups and kitting downs can only happen as I get stuff done because I, I, I can't magic those out of thin air um, but I do also know that I always have plenty of ideas and things in the pipeline that I want to do and sometimes if I have you know maybe quite a few items that have arrived from from companies either that have sent me stuff or places that I've purchased from because when I when I tend to go shopping sometimes I tend to go on a little bit of a spree as my hobby found out when we went out this morning um, I tend to sort of get a feel for it so quite often when you know say maybe I do go browsing AliExpress or something it's not just one thing that I'm purchasing and while they may turn up at different times, sometimes I do get quite a few that turn up within the same week. So in turn, I was having quite a few times where I would have a lot of unboxing videos, especially when my craft room work was being done. The only thing that I was able to sort of create a space for was to do my unboxings. Um, because the items had arrived and they were sat there. So I did have a period of time where there was a lot of unboxings and I wasn't major keen on it. And, you know, some people that have been in the Facebook group or do listen to the whip and chats, 
did understand why it was happening, but there were some viewers that may not have seen the whip and chat and therefore didn't know why it was happening um, and felt that there was just too many unboxings. And to be fair, I agree with them. There was too many unboxings. Um, you know, you go to a channel quite often for variety and if if all there is is unboxings, if you're not keen on them, you're like, okay, see you later and off you go. So I wanted to try and structure and put that to a stop. Um, in turn, I am getting asked by quite a lot of companies um, to review some of their products and I don't, I don't particularly want the, the free paintings or even need the free paintings. I do not need them. Um, I have very recently sent a few um, sort of craft parcels to people that I know that diamond paint as a pure gift. Here you go, you know, here's some for you to do, treat yourself type thing. Mainly my daughter's friends that have recently gone into it, um, so are quite new and don't really have anything. Um, but I, I don't do it to at all to get the free paintings. <coughs> I say that isn't what my goal is, but I do want to be able to share on my channel variety because people that are watching unboxings do also want to see what's out there, what's available. You know, they might be, be watching those videos to see a different company, to see something that they've not seen before. Um, and therefore I don't, while I want to limit, I don't want to stop showing other companies paintings um, because I want to keep the variety out there but I don't want my channel to just become purely unboxing videos which it could and frankly that would bore me too um, so I've decided on a structure I think now this is still you know flexible in the fact that things will vary up but hopefully this will be a way that I can curb maybe some of the companies that I don't work with often um, not that there's anything wrong with them they just they're just the time I'm wrong <laughs> um, and it will allow me to maintain my relationship with fan cells so for anybody that's new to my channel, I have unboxed from Van Cells for quite a while. Um, they weren't the first company to reach out to me, but they were the first company that I wanted to continue working with. I was happy with the way they worked. Um, I'm happy with the fact that, you know, they are proactive in if they are if they are made aware that any of their images are copyright they will remove them um, because I understand that there is a cultural difference and you know sometimes it isn't a matter of ignorance and and they don't care it's a matter of they're not aware so um, I am very happy with their stance that if they are aware something is copyrighted that they will remove it um, they're very willing to work with ideas with me of, of things to do um, that I find will make content on my channel more interesting for people. They're more than happy to work with me on ideas that I have um, and therefore I want to maintain that relationship with them because I say they're, they're willing to work with me and work with what suits me. They're not all about what suits their company. But in turn, 
I appreciate their willingness to work with me. So I have at the moment decided that I will have um, what I will call Fan Cells Friday. So on a Friday there will be an unboxing from Fan Cells of some of their items, um, either things that will be competitions and giveaways or it will be new products which you know it may just be uh, me showing you some of the items that I already have. It will sort of, it will primarily be unboxings but occasionally there may be something different depending on shipping times and and whether I've got my act together <laughs> quick enough um, to have stuff arrive. So that is my thought that I will have Fan Cells Friday. I will then, that is the only sort of structured day as in for one company that is that i will then have another two days in the week that will be unboxings so they will be on a monday and a wednesday so basically monday wednesday friday are unboxings friday will always be fan sales monday and wednesday will vary so they will include items that I have chosen to purchase as well as items that companies have sent to me. It will be a mixture. And by keeping doing these unboxings, there are a few, basically it helps me to keep doing a video a day because I know there are a lot of people that like the video a day and I initially did a video a day thinking I would be doing it for one month and it was just to get all the ideas out of my head <laughs> of videos that I wanted to do, it was to get all the unboxings of stuff that I'd you know gone on a spree and purchased and you know the items that I I'd finished and wanted to show you and kitten ups that I wanted to do for my next project um, and the idea was that I would do it for a month I think it was June or July and I would be all caught up and I could go back to what was it every third day was what I was originally doing well the videos and the ideas kind of kept coming and they still sort of have they're still there I'm still kitting stuff up I'm still de-kitting stuff I'm still rearranging stuff storage wise I'm you know I've got my craft room tour that I need to film so there's still lots of videos there for me that are floating around in my head to do and I don't want unboxings to stop that, to stop that flow, i.e. to have um, unboxings going on for weeks with nothing else. But in turn, I don't want to have nothing to kit up, nothing to de-kit, and none of the other videos to show you because I've stopped doing any unboxings and and I have run out of stuff to do. So I want to find a happy medium um, and I want to try and keep that video a day. So I figured if I split it sort of down the middle, i.e. well there's seven days in the week, so three days for unboxings, four days for other. Because I can't guarantee that I am going to be able to prepare a diamond painting and show a completed diamond painting slash de-kitting in one week. It could take me a lot longer than a week to do a diamond painting depending on the painting and the size. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a happy medium um, of four videos rather than me doing because what was I doing before? I was doing it like every third day. So I was doing two slash three a week. Occasionally it would be every other day. 
So I was doing two or three a week. And that did include unboxings of things that I had chosen to purchase, as well as my other videos. Um, whereas this will be every day of the week, but it will be a nice mixture, I'm hoping. So yeah, that is, that is a lot of talking. Um, so yeah, that is my plan going forward, is that I will, that will help me to limit some stuff, work with a company that I believe works with me, um, while also showcasing, of course, other items, both purchased by me and sent to me. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will work out for all of us. Let my let me know what you think um, in the comments down below. If you think, I know many of you will just say, "Do what works for you," and I do really appreciate that. Um, but I do feel as though it was getting very busy for me, um, and I was I was coming to film. So I was coming to film, and I'd see a pile of unboxings, and then I'd feel as though I had to put them up because they'd arrived. And it's like, well, I filmed that video now, so I need to do it. And it's like, well, actually, no, I have too many. I need, I need to vary it up. So that's my plan. Is I'm going to get things. Yeah, that's right. Do you know, it's very weird after working on my other heaven and earth designs where it was very much dark colours here. I'm now trying to work on a pattern and where my diamonds are is not a dark colour, it's actually a light colour. And it's actually rather confusing to work out where it's supposed to go. Okay, hopefully the next ones will be easier now. I've got some dark in there. I think I'm, I think this pattern's going to work easier on my brain when I get to more blocks of dark colour. Okay, so that's number 169. So what I'm doing now is I'm just working across the rest of the numbers. I've done the number that's the biggest amount. Let's see if we get some black in here, if it will make it a little bit easier. We'll see. It's still very confusing when... When I go and where my gaps are, it's only white all the way around it. Um, so yeah, me and um, my eldest, Megan, she was giving her input as well. Um, and helping me to sort of brain dump all the ideas that, I, that I've got in my head. And, and which ones um, we can action and get done quickly and which ones need a little bit more preparation as well as of course videos that have been asked for compared to videos that I've got in my head but haven't been asked for but I do think they'd be good and I don't want to list them because then people will keep asking for them and uh, I don't want to overwhelm myself too much by throwing out all my ideas for videos and then not getting around to actually doing them. Um, I like someone reserve that when I have more time or, you know, it fits into my schedule nicely is what gets me to do that video. And say some of them I do need to do some preparation for. Um, I need to order paintings for them specifically. Um, yeah, to help with some of those ideas. So, yeah, that is my thoughts on the schedule. Um, I hope that will help everybody to know what is coming, you know, especially if you do have favourites. There are people that don't like unboxings um, and I appreciate their patience while I did have a lot of unboxings. Um, fully aware that there was a lot of them 
um, and I am sorry that it was so many at once I just with my craft room being done um, they, they did get to be you know a, a pile of of quite a few unboxings that did need doing um, and they did need to get sorted so I, I appreciate that it did bash things up a bit and that's in the wrong place oh no actually we'll class that as a middle one we just need to do it the side it's very confusing doing the white first okay if you're doing this image i would potentially suggest doing the other colors before the white because this is messing with my brain um so yeah, anybody, there has been people asking about my craft room. Yes, my craft room is pretty much done. Um, I potentially will want to add a few more decor pieces in um, and spruce it up over time. Um, but because I haven't thought of decor pieces for the conservatory yet, because the floor's not done, um, I'm not necessarily thinking of them for my craft room. It still has quite a few diamond paintings and bits up that I had before um, but you will be happy to know that I will see look this is me committing it's not done yet but I am planning on filming my craft room tour this weekend um, however in the interests of keeping variety across my channel and spacing things out so that there is a bit of something for everybody I am looking for it I have put it down in my preparation calendar um, for it to show up next Saturday so you've not got too long to wait and um, I do tend to more often than not unless I'm disorganized which can happen, um, and re disregarding the December, um, I tend to only do one or two videos in preparation, depending on what's going on in life in December. Um, but I tend to film at a weekend, and I tend to spend however long I need to spend filming at a weekend, and that puts my videos up for the following week. Um, and that's what's happening with this. So my craft room tour is getting filmed this weekend so that it will be ready and up next Saturday. So it's coming people. It is coming. Um, and yeah, I know that's been well sought after. Um, there are a few other requests that have been well sought after, asked for as well. Um, they have been penciled in in the calendar um, as sort of more priority videos than others. Um, as I said, aforementioned ideas that are running round in my head. Um, you know, go into gaps, but if there's something that becomes more important or more sought after, it will scoot down the list right where's that one going there um so yeah keep an eye out craft room tour is coming some of your other high demands are coming um i haven't got any completed paintings at the moment because i've been working on a bit of this a bit of that a um, bit of bit of organizing and admin has sort of gone on this week um but i have got some more preparation videos so i've definitely got one of those scheduled for this week um i of course have the unboxings on the set days i have this whip and chat i got the heaven and earth design app that went up well when you're seeing this that's according to me now filming this it went up seven minutes ago um, to you guys, it's already there. It went up yesterday when you're watching this. So that's, that's kind of how I'm rolling. Um, so yeah, I am listening and hopefully this will work out good for everybody 
involved. And yeah, that is the update on that. I have chatted about that for probably far too long. Um, <coughs> I am just going to get myself a drink because my memory card's about to save anyway. So I'm going to get myself a brew um, and then I will come back and finish this whole section with you. I'm going to commit to a long whip and chat today. Um, and I'm sure I'll have more to chat about. Okay, firstly, I did get my brew and I drank my brew and I would like to apologise. I thought my camera was filming and it wasn't. So I've just waffled at you for however long, finishing up this section that we were doing as a full on whip and chat. And, I'm, and I've, I've either not hit the button or it's turned itself off and I've not realized. So rest assured, I waffled <laughs> um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that ended up finishing up that section. So if you can see there, you can't tell at all what it is yet. But we do have a section of my mini heaven and earth designs that has been completed. Um, and in fact, let's have a look. What's the percentage that I've managed to complete? So, 1%. <laughs> So it tells you we've done 601 stitches. How does that work out that I've done 601 when the actual block? Okay, I'm not quite sure how that's worked. So it should be 600. Oh, hang on, I've caught one up there. That'll be why. Okay, I don't want to do that. Let me just zoom in. Hang on, let's get this to show right. So what symbol is that? Is that that one? Highlight that one, take it off. Okay. Okay, right. <laughs> See, how bad am I? So we've stitched 600. So I have done my first 600 on this painting, which is 1.01%. Um, and that's probably taken a fair while. I'd normally be able to tell you, but you know, I haven't got the footage. So, huge apologies. There's not much I can do to, to go backwards on that. Um, but be assured, in with my new schedule, um, got my whole self a colour coordinated Google Calendar. Um, to be able to make sure that content is varied and hopefully the fact that it's varied mixed in yes with a with a few unboxings from places but hopefully you know realize that sort of the fillers to enable me to do one per day of the week if you take those out that's what i'd normally be able to do without them so um for those that do like them Hopefully that'll help you to enjoy one a, one a day. Um, and we'll see how long I can keep that up. Um, but my aim is to keep it going as long as possible with the one a day. Um, December calendar is coming back. Um, so let me know in the comments below, are you gonna join me for December calendar? Um, I'll pop the link to where I got mine. But when I say join me, get one from your stash. Get one that, you know, you want to treat yourself to. I'm trying to keep it, I think it's 30 by 40, the one that I'm getting. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with something that you're doing each day. Um, you want it to be manageable. Maybe you'll run it alongside something else that you're doing. Um, but I hope you'll join me in our December, our diamond painting advent calendar so let me know in the comments below if you're going to join in um, with that and hopefully things will run smoothly I will feel better having a schedule 
and a strict way of doing stuff and we can just all keep having fun so thank you so much for watching i am truly sorry about the footage that we've missed but i do have more weapon chats in my schedule so the next one might work out a bit better <laughs> speak to you all again soon Thank you.